Please remain seated. The show will begin in three, two. Like a hell cut. <laughs> Hello, ghoul friends, those who are freaky chic, fans of the supernatural, and all things spooky. I'm your host, Phantom Traveler 87 and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter, and of course, thank you so much for listening. Before I continue on with this video, I just want to say if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get all notifications for future uploads. Without further ado, let's take another trip down the yellow brick road for this next part in this spine-chilling tale. I received a phone call the next morning at 4 a.m. from my mother after I had experienced something so unusual and unsettling. Once the power had gone out the night before, I immediately knew that if I stayed a minute longer, I could have been harmed. I asked my mother if she had any documentation in regards to the theme park, such as other further reported incidences, even dating back to the time period when the park first opened. As I mentioned before, an ominous aura seemed to befall after the film The Wizard of Oz had released, a curse many described it. Those who worked on set in 1938, according to my mother, had rather chilling and troublesome times during production. The first event was when Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch, accidentally got caught on fire and had to be rushed to the hospital. This occurred during filming, and this is an actual fact. However, MGM left out some rather dark details that they didn't want disclosed, simply because they believed it was mass hysteria based on silly superstition. It was strongly implied that the freak accident of Margaret Hamilton getting caught on fire was both intentional and premeditated, as rumors spread about disgruntled employees deliberately using black magic to get back at those who forced them to work in unfair conditions. It was strongly implied that the freak accident of Margaret Hamilton getting caught on fire was both intentional and premeditated, as rumors spread about disgruntled employees deliberately using black magic to get back at those who forced them to work in unfair conditions. Conditions which were appallingly severe, exposed harshly in the elements, no matter how hot or cold it was. Being underpaid, working an excessive amount of hours, no lunch breaks, pushed to doing risky and dangerous job tasks that were not in their skill set, etc. And these disgruntled employees of L.B. Mayer were also victims of his, all female who were targets of gender discrimination and were harassed, even physically touched in rather uncomfortable circumstances. The Black Cloud began with these women who wanted to jeopardize the production of The Wizard of Oz, and also make sure that anyone who sees the film would suffer. There were several copies of the film distributed for decades on DVD, Blu-ray, VHS, but oddly enough, specific individuals who were direct descendants of the production team and employees received corrupted, terrifying, cursed footage of the film that led them to either killing themselves by hanging, poison consumption, gunshot to the head, and the most common in many written reports, hallucinations leading to starvation. Or they would go brain dead and lose memory of who they are, or be possessed to cause bodily harm to others, as though under the influence of some entity. The entity is described to be a dark shadow that would randomly appear sporadically in certain scenes of the movie. It would affect the audio first off. The music itself would be cut in and out. It would sometimes be distorted and ear splitting. The character's voices would change. Faces would be missing. There would be blood and gore. 
so graphically detailed. It was so out of place. It was speculated that some of these people who bought these copies of the movie, they would receive them in the mail from anonymous sources, and the copies were priced at like $5. So perhaps it was possible that there were some sick idiots who wanted to play a cruel joke on unsuspecting buyers. But something else didn't add up. The entity seemed to manifest and appear in these people's houses and cause poltergeist activity very similar to the incidences that happened at the Land of Oz uh, theme park in Beach Mountain, North Carolina. My stomach dropped when I heard the doorbell. This is just five minutes after my phone conversation with my mom had ended, and I just had this bad feeling. I didn't want to leave my room and go downstairs. I didn't want to question who would be at my apartment at that hour. I wanted to hide underneath the covers of my bed. I kept seeing those three dreaded words etched in my brain. Millions of disembodied voices just kept echoing and piercing my eardrums. Dorothy is dead. Dorothy is dead. Dorothy is dead. I'd done my best to ignore them, and it took some rationalizing, me saying to myself, this is crazy. What is it that I'm so afraid of? I'm just tired. I haven't slept much, and now I'm being paranoid. I go downstairs, and I'm close to grabbing a beer out of the fridge. Maybe if I get drunk enough, I'll forget what happened the night before. That initially was what popped into my head, but I took a deep breath, and walked over to the front door. I unlocked it slowly and opened it halfway. There lying at my feet was a yellow envelope with something inside it. I picked it up. There was nothing written on the front of it. I debated with myself on whether or not I should throw it in the garbage. Stupidly, I decided to open the envelope after shutting it and relocking my door, then sitting down and ripping open the package which revealed a VHS tape. It was blue with white tape on the front written in red. It said The Wizard of Oz. The tape looked a little beaten up. Now I didn't expect to get some random package from a total stranger. Who would send me this tape? To this day I still don't know. I turned on my TV and inserted the tape. What was on it? God, I, I wish I would have just burned the damn thing. Had I thought it would have gotten much worse up to this point. Beep. Beep.